Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to create a customized scroll bar, vertical scroll bar in Excel sheet. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output. Notice the data is scrolling. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating one new book on Excel sheet. And right now, the sheet one contains no data. So, just for the demo purpose, we will add some data here. I am adding some weekdays here, Sunday, Monday. So, uh, let's autofill this one. Now, here we got some. Let's put this in the middle. Now here we got some weekdays from Sunday to Saturdays. Now my aim is I want to create one scroll bar for this data. Instead of uh, scrolling the whole page, I want to uh, add one simple scroll bar to check all the data. So for that I'm creating a new sheet too. You can create in sheet one also, but for clear understanding purpose, I'm adding in sheet 2. Now, first thing, when we want to add a scroll bar, we require the developer menu bar. But by default, in the menu tabs, if you notice, there is no any developer here. So, we need to add one developer option here. For that, we go to File, Options. In the Excel option, click Customize Ribbon. In the Customize Ribbon, there is Main tab here. Inside this main tab, there is a developer option here. Select the checkbox. When you got the tick mark, click OK. Now here we got the developer. Now select the developer. In the sheet 2, I am adding one scroll bar. So in the developer, under controls, there is an insert option here. Open that one. Once you click the insert, here we got two types of controls. Form controls and active X controls. Now I'm adding form control uh, scroll bar, select that one and drag here. Here we got a scroll bar. If you want to add horizontal, you can. Uh, and now if you want to select the scroll bar, take uh, place a cursor on the scroll bar, right click the mouse, it will select. Like this, we can create the uh, horizontal scroll bar. Now, I require vertical scroll bar. Now, that scroll bar I am adding in the F column. Now, in the E column, we'll add this data. Now, go to sheet 2. Before adding the data, we need to um, before adding the data, we need to oh, set some properties here for this control scroll bar. Select the scroll bar, right click the mouse, right click the mouse, in the format control, in the format control there is a control tab here, inside this control tab, the current value is 0 and the minimum value is 0 and maximum value I am adding up to 50. You can, uh, depends on your data, the maximum I want to display here. But minimum value, I'm adding 50 here. And increment change, uh, only one. So, cell, increment cell, I want to change with only one. If you want to select two cells at a time, you can add two here. But I want to select only one cell only when we want to scroll the data. Now the page change, I am adding 0. Now after that, the last one is the cell link. Cell link is very important. We need to add one uh, blank cell to count the cell numbers. Here we have selected the minimum value 0 and maximum value 50. So when we want, when we are scrolling the data, this cell link uh, cell will count the data 
up to 0 to 50. Now that cell link, click the button here. Once we got the format control small, now we can able to shift to sheet 1 and selecting B1. And B1 under sheet 1, it will count the data from 0 to 50 because in the format control, we have added the minimum value is 0 and maximum is 50. Now let's copy this one. We require this cell name in our formula. So I'm copying this sheet 1, which is our cell link name. Again, click this button, it will open the bigger format object. Click OK. Once you click, it will shift to sheet 2. Now, um, notice here once again I am telling in the cell link the B1 cell name I have added which is in sheet 1 I want to count the data the link uh, the cell numbers in B1 cell which I will show you once we add the formula click ok now here in the E column I want to display the data so now here is equals to the formula I'm adding in sheet 2 inside this E column is equals to offset. This offset takes a couple of parameters. First one is the reference. Reference is nothing but the data cell, data column. The data column is in A1. A1 I'm adding. I'm adding in the sheet 1 only the rows. The rows here have selected this sheet 1 B1, um, B1, I'm sorry, we require this, we need to add this one, format control, let's add this formula, uh, copy this cell link, the sheet 1, Again, I'm adding the formula offset the reference we are getting from A1. Now, here I'm pasting the data. If we select directly here, it will select only B1, $B1, but we require $B and $1 also. Comma and the columns. Columns I'm adding 0. I don't want to count any columns here, only the rows are required. That's it. Notice once I click enter, it will go to the sheet 2. Here we got Sunday. In sheet A1 cell, we have Sunday here. And B cell link, which will count the data. Now select the E1. We need to add the formulas to all the uh, up to the Be careful when you drag this thing. The scroll bar is, is blocking. So now here we got all the data. The Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Now, uh, just ignore this one. Now when I scroll, notice here, the data is scrolling. If you check in the B sound in, the cell number is also counting here. 26 cells. Here we got 47 only. Fifty cells, maximum cells are fifty cells of the data. So 
So we don't require Kusti here, we'll add a Pitri. Click OK. And the 41. Format number 41. That's it. Here we got and here we got the final output. Notice the data is scrolling. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to add a scroll bar to our data in Excel sheet. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video tutorial.